are the final hours for being able to call the airport McCarran. Just ahead today, McCarran officially becomes Harry Reid International. And Alyssa Bethencourt is joining us live now. And Alyssa, we want to know what time this change officially happens and what people might need to know as they head to the airport today. Well, hey there, Kalina. The name McCarran is out and Harry Reid is in. All of it expected to become official this morning at 11. Clark County Commissioner Tick Seeger Bloom has led this project for years and shared that the legacy of the late Nevada Senator Pat McCarran just doesn't reflect the Las Vegas that we know and love today. McCarran, who served as a representative of the Silver State from 1933 to 1954, is credited with helping to shape the air industry as we know it today. But some say he also left behind a legacy of racism, xenophobia and anti-Semitism. Instead, county commissioners picked Nevada's longest running senator, Harry Reid, to be the airport's new namesake, sparking some pushback from people upset that yet another politician was chosen. 13 Action News talked with some of the last tourists to enter Las Vegas under the old name, and this is what they thought about the change. That's a good reason to change the name of the airport. That's also a good reason not to even support the airport, to be yeah, honest. I think it's a good idea, to be completely honest with you, just because I just think we really need to step up as a nation. I've already been the McCarran for so long. Why would you change it now? Yeah. It don't make sense. It's and while the name change will be official this morning, it could take years to change things like the signs that you're looking at right now and even some monuments, but you could see changes on digital platforms as early as today. I'm reporting live this morning, Elizabeth in court 13 action news.